I particularly like the ending of this. You can celebrate. Part of the trail making it this far the sisters their heads are not in the clouds today Oh my gosh, how about that? Diamond Peak. We, we call this area our stomping ground. This is where we like to be. And this is where we're headed. Right up there. It is so fun. It's definitely accessible for almost anybody. We'll see how Susan handles this last little bit. And it is difficult to tell steepness, but it's steep. It's a climb. Get up there. Part of the old ladder, old stairs are here, but that's all that's left of the fire tower. Oh, here's, <laughs> here's the remains of some of the stairs. Susan is doing a little rock scrambling. That's it. Clean it out from underneath your feet. I think go straight up. Yep, just like that. Oh yeah, look at you go. You go, girl. That's the spirit. Yeah, stay low until you feel comfortable. Here, give me your hand. Hand. That's a spirit. Just, just stay there for a moment. You okay? Go to that ledge. Get your hand on it. No. Look at Tidbit Mountain. Yeah, beautiful. The site of a fire tower back in the day. And again, the ingenuity of the people who engineered and put this together is just mind boggling. You know, how they produced a fire tower up here is hard to imagine, but they did. And who knows how tall it was, but somebody spent every summer up here watching for fires. Quite amazing. What a beautiful sky. There's our trail down there. 
Jefferson. Very stately mountain. Washington. And of course, his sisters. We can see our little saddle, Susan, that we spent last weekend at. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When you're up on a deal like this, you you, you really got to pay attention on this uh, selfie thing. You know, you don't want to have your mind on where you're standing all the time because there is no, there's no stepping backward. It's a, it's a, you're in the express to the ground. So you got to be really careful when you are walking around up here. You never want to lose sight of the fact. Oh, look at this bird, Susan. Oh, Susan, look at this bird. It's a hawk or something. Okay, lunch spot. Top of Tidbits Mountain. Check this out. This is a beautiful view and day. There's the sisters. Wow. There's the captain. What's he got today for lunch? Well, I've got uh, our X bar, my new favorite. Uh, three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, no BS, chocolate chip. Yum! Yep. And then, this is the one I've really been looking forward to. It seems like uh, it's a popular one because there was only one in the box. Maple sea salt. Yum, that sounds good Yes, too. so maple sea salt might be a hit. We'll might, see. Might be a new favorite. Might be. All right. And let's see. Red vine? Oh my goodness. Yeah, Honestly? Susan, junk food Susan, apparently. Honestly? Yeah, let's see what else does Susan have. Let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> yeah, big bars, energy. These are actually are all really oh, good. Stinger. So I'm, I'm really surprised you only brought two fig bars. Oh, yeah. Well, there's more in my pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Lunchtime. Susan is coming down and she's doing a what we consider a very safe method. And that is she's backing down. The majority of her weight is forward toward the rock, not forward toward the open space. See how she just backs down? Hand, she cleans her steps. Clean your step. Yeah, clean your step, yeah. Wanna have three points of contact at all times. Moves a foot, two hands in place, good hand grip. Good hand grip. Look down at your feet. Look at her go. Now, Susan, tell me that's easy. Well, not bad. It's easy, isn't it? Not bad at all. Yep. She's got good grip. Okay. Now, stay on the right-hand side of the... There you go. Good girl. And you can use the... the uh, stair stringer as a handhold but you're going to continue with that same process going down this side keep going
Mm-hmm. Make that foot happy. Clear the rubble. Yep, it's all solid. Yeah, don't get too far away from that, that board. You're kind of going up. There you go. That's the spirit. Nothing wrong with clearing the rocks out. Yeah, you're doing fine. Put your foot where, where you had it. Now you're going to step down about uh, two feet with your other foot, and there's a foothold. I wouldn't be so close. Uh, uh, uh. Don't be so close. Go, go the other way. That's it. Go the other. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. There's a big, beautiful step right there. See, you're missing a beautiful step, Susan. See it? There you go. Now you're talking. Good girl. Yeah, you, what you don't want to do is have your feet too close together. That just kind of trips you up. Look at her clear that way. Okay, now look for your next step. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. There's a step. There you go. You've only got about five more feet to go. Yeah, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Find a place for your uh, right hand. Find a place for your right hand. Okay. I would have gone a little wider, but if you're comfortable, there you go. If your step's good, you're going to step all the way down about two feet now. One more step all the way down. Make it all the way. That's there. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Good. You're down. You're down. Wow. Okay. Very good. Uh, yeah. Oh, fun day. I think they had to blast some rock to make that walkway through there. It looks like they did. Wow, that was really something. It was really something that they put these watchtowers up here. Okay, so we're heading her back to the barn. Wow, look at these ants working on this tree. Holy cow. I don't know where they're at, but boy, they got a lot of sawdust. That was succulent. How cool is that? Those bees. Busy as a bee, working on those succulents.
good times. Good hike. Easy access, really. And a pretty good payoff. So, from for those of you who live in Oregon, keep a tidbit, tidbit mountain on your list. For those of you who have been here, you know what we're talking about. What a great day, easy hike, fun. Grab a partner, grab a friend, get out, go hiking. Definitely worth your time. So that's the trail leading up to Tidbit. There it is. That's our trail home. And then this goes to Gold Lake or Gold Hill. It goes off that way. So if you come out toward Tidbit, don't go that way. Because that's a long hike for a miserable turnaround. This is the trail you want. It's not bad. It's really not bad. There's, there, you know, there's some moments that you've got to take care of, but it's an easy trail, basically. And we're heading our home. There is a beautiful view at the top, which I hope we've shared with you. And a nice hike back home. Uh, right now, I'm feeling a nice breeze. The sun's behind a cloud. The mountain beaver is an industrious creature. <laughs> How'd you like to dig through that? That looks like some pretty hard work, but that, that mountain beaver is digging through there. And he's got another, another one up there. Mountain beaver. They're a rodent and they're, they're diggers. So we'll leave them to their work. Oh, look at that shadow. Isn't that cool? How beautiful. Tell you what, on that beautiful sunny day, warm 80s, walking into and through a shaded forest is really awesome. It's so much cooler. This is what it's all about. We've seen so many people today just past two families, kids in tow, going to go up to Tidbit, which is really awesome. Parents, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the kids will be okay. It's, you know, 
it can be a little bit touch and go there at the top. So, not a place to not be paying attention. Even the trail, there's some spots where if you stepped off, it'd be a problem. You could fall 20, 30 feet without any problem. So, yeah, got to pay attention. But the more, more you do it, the better you get. Everybody becomes more familiar. So we hope that everybody who watches this gets out and enjoys and it does it in a safe manner. Comes home, park the, gar- park the car in the garage, and get ready to enjoy another day. Nothing better than that. Beautiful breeze coming up right here. So this is going to be hard to put together for you to piece, for me to piece all this together for you. But this tree right here that has broken off, it gives us an opportunity to follow it. So bear with me. It broke off. Here's the, in a sense, butt that landed. It fell in through here. From there, it fell in through here. So they had to cut it and roll that piece over there. Here's a little section (laughs) of it. Look at this. There's another one. Okay, so then they had to go past this tree. And so we have another one and another one in a big section of trunk and another section of trunk. And now we're into the part of the tree they didn't have to cut, if you can imagine. So here we go down this tree. Look at this tree. It's still going. It's still going. Holy cow. Can you believe that? Here's more. Here's more. Here's more. Finally, here's the top. That might be the top top. Right there, that one piece. And there's a piece broken off of that, so it might be around here someplace. Wow. What an enormous tree. And I'm telling you, some of these trees are 200 feet tall. It's absolutely amazing. Look at these monsters. Wow. It's so fun to come here and see this. When you do get out, just take the time. Don't be point A to point B. Take your time. Yes, it's exercise, of course. But don't. Don't do it like you're going and and running on the treadmill. Go run on the treadmill. When you're out here, take a few minutes to just absorb what's going on. The place. And look at these absolutely amazing trees. Wow. They're here for you to enjoy. Just take a few minutes and do just that.